Hi, I'm Mike Rooney. What I want to do is I want to show you the stuff that's in the Real Art Academy starter set that's available now. What it is, basically it's a package full of stuff. You just go and get it and everything you need is in the set. You don't have to run and go get this and run and go get that. So it's really awesome. And anytime you want to know how to set up the palette or how to tone the canvases like I do, uh, just refer to this little clip and it will uh, tell you what to do. So let's go one by one through what's in the kit. And uh, we'll start with the palette. You get this huge palette right here. I love a big palette because I like lots of room to mix. Uh, that way I can save mixes and I don't have to keep scraping it and cleaning it and losing all that paint. I can keep painting with it. So the bigger it is, the better. Now uh, let's go through the colors that you'll get. You'll get these Lucas colors in there. Awesome paint. Uh, love it. Totally, totally love it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll start around here. Now I suggest that every single time you paint and you're watching these DVDs, set up this palette the same way because it's just like keys on a piano. You don't want to move the keys around because you're not going to be able to make some music. So you want to know where the C note is. So this, this is always where magenta goes. This is magenta. This is yellow ochre. This is cad yellow light. This is cad red light. This is alizarin crimson, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, orange, sap green, uh, viridian, and cobalt violet. Now those are the colors that I use and I have found that I can make every color imaginable with, with those. And it's basically a split, uh, a, a split primary palette with two yellows, two reds, two blues, and then your secondary is up on the top. And then I put white down the side and a big worm, just like that. So if you do that every time, at least you'll know where the stuff is. Uh, let's go to the brushes next. Okay, the brushes. I love to have a little uh, fine brush called a rigger. And then these are big chunky. Uh, this is a flat, number two. And then these are brights. So I like big chunky brushes and then I finish up the painting with something real fine and that gives you good contrast between chunky and fine. Uh, knife, got a, a T5 knife, a palette knife for palette maintenance and also I do some painting with it too. So I like to apply some paint with it. That's good. Next is some liquid. Early on in the process I use a lot of liquid. Not a lot. I mean I, I use it almost always in the beginning of the painting because this this canvas is dry, and if you mix liquid in with your paint, it'll kind of move around a little bit better. So I like that. That's good stuff. Uh, and also makes your paint dry quick. Now, there's a brush washer in there, which is awesome because it's got a wire mesh in the bottom, and you can, you can hit the bottom of the brush on it, you know, like that, and all the paint will come out of the brush. So this is brush magic. No, bristle magic, artist brush cleaner. And it's got a conditioner in it, too, so that's pretty good. So that's what we're going to thin, I mean, uh, we're going to wash the brushes out with, is this. Brush Magic, okay. Uh, let's see, what's next? We've got some canvases here, okay. Now you're going to get some Soho panels. Uh, right here is the Soho panel. And it is good for the studies, the free art lessons. Anything you really don't want to, you know, you're not going to save it and put it in the Louvre Museum. You know, use this stuff for it. Uh, then inside the kit also is these panels, and these are awesome because I use these actually to put in my gallery and stuff. When I paint a painting and put it in the gallery, this is archival and it's a good panel. It's got some kind of a canvas glued onto press board, and it's called a Pintura panel, so it's pretty good. Good stuff. All right, so there's the panels. Now what I always do is I always underpaint with an orange, so I've got Lucas acrylic paint in there. And I'll take some, this is how I'll do it. I'll show you on this panel right here. You're going to want to tone your canvases because all the, pa the paintings you see in the DVDs are going to start out with some orange canvas. And that means that I've toned them, be toned them beforehand. So this is what you do. You just put some orange on there. Take out one of these. Uh, this is in the set also. It's a Soho wipe. And it's kind of wet and it's good for washing your hand and doing stuff with but just take the paint and just scrub it around just like that. Now what's neat about that is, you know, you ever get scared when you see that white canvas, you just freeze up and you decide to go mow the lawn instead of paint because you're so scared. Well, now you don't have to be scared because this kind of takes away the, the uh, just getting started kind of mentality. So you got this on there and you can paint on here, have a great time. The 
paper towels. You need paper towels. Everybody has them around at the house, so just grab some paper towels from the house, and you should be ready to paint everything we're going to paint in this starter kit uh, painting set, painting DVD. So uh, if you ever need to know how to do it, just refer to this um, little clip here and you can see how to set everything up.